Over the last 50 years, male fertility has dropped faster than almost any other biological marker of health. The numbers are crystal clear. Globally, sperm counts have declined by over 50% since 1973, and the rate of decline has doubled since the year 2000, roughly a 2.6% drop every single year. In India, a 2018 review that examined nearly 13,500 men across four decades found a consistent downward trend in semen quality and the numbers are still falling. Nationally, India has about 27 million couples struggling with infertility. Roughly 10 to 15% of all couples in reproductive age fall into that category. And in about 40 to 50% of those cases, the primary issue is male infertility. In other words, almost half of India's infertility burden comes from men, not women. That's the reproductive picture. But fertility isn't the only thing collapsing. Hormones are following the same pattern. And you know what I'm talking about. A global review that looked at 1 million healthy men confirmed a steady decline in testosterone in all age groups over the past five decades. In India, the pattern is nearly identical. Studies show that 20 to 30 percent of Indian men over the age of 40 need the diagnostic criteria for testosterone deficiency, which is called hypogonadism. Among Indian men with type 2 diabetes, roughly one in five already have clinically low testosterone. And in the hospital screenings of apparently healthy middle-aged men, about one in four test low once blood work is done. So by your mid-40s, the probability of having suboptimal testosterone in India is roughly 25%, even if you don't feel sick. The biological cost of that is huge. Low testosterone is associated with higher fat mass, lower muscle mass, poorer insulin sensitivity, lower motivation, and reduced cognitive function. It also correlates with higher rates of cardiovascular disease and metabolic syndrome. The semen quality itself is a biomarker for overall survival. In other words, your fertility data is a mirror of your longevity data. Testosterone naturally declines by about 1% per year after your early 30s. But when that's layered over poor sleep, chronic stress, processed diets, alcohol, smoking, and pollution, the hormonal decline becomes exponential. Clinics across India are now reporting men in their 30s showing hormonal profiles once typical of men in their 50s. And this is reflected in the nation's metabolic data. That's not a coincidence. Those same metabolic stresses suppress testosterone and sperm production. So when you hear that sperm counts are falling, it's not about reproductive capability alone. It's about the collapse of male metabolic system. The pattern is consistent. Less sleep, more stress, poor nutrient quality, and chemically dense environment that interferes with normal hormone production. But the advantage of having this data is that it's measurable. You can quantify and fix it. Testing testosterone, vitamin D, fasting insulin, CRT, lipid markers, gives a full picture of the male biological age. From there, strength training, better sleep cycles, nutrient-dense diets, weight management are the most reproducible way to restore normal health. The science is clear, male fertility and hormone trends are measurable, reversible, and entirely dependent on lifestyle and environment, your epigenetics, so to speak. If sperm counts have dropped, 50% in 50 years, the variables are man-made, which means the solutions can be true. Because in 2025, male health isn't about just gym numbers, it's about data and whether you know yours.